Thank you for listening to shulhanarcharav.com. May a child eat or drink before Kiddush. We all know the halacha, the prior to Kiddush, by night and by day, we're not allowed to eat or drink any food due to the takana of the chacham. What is the law applicable to children? We all try to educate our children, our sons and daughters, to follow according to the halachas that they have to follow when they are older. So the question is, does this apply likewise to the halacha of not eating or drinking before Kiddush? Sometimes it's very difficult for the child to fast until Kiddush is made. But nonetheless, perhaps since this is chinuch, perhaps we're supposed to do so. So we're going to take a look at what the Pais can say regarding this issue. Although in general, as brought in chapter 343, there's an obligation on the father to educate his ch- child in all the mitzvahs once he reaches the age of understanding, and thus it's brought down that once he understands the concept of Shabbos, he is, there's an obligation on the father to educate his child to hear Kiddush and hear Avdallah. Nonetheless, the Peskim explicitly write that there's no prohibition to feed the child a food or drink prior to Kiddush. Furthermore, the Altera states in chapter 269.3, based on the Magan of Ram, that it's actually forbidden to oppress the child and prevent him from eating and drinking if he wants or needs to do so before Kiddush. And the Alter Ebbe emphasizes that this applies even to a child that's above the age of Chinuch, so long as they are under Baram Bas Mitzvah. Nonetheless, the above only applies when the child wants to eat or needs to eat. But if the child doesn't want to eat at the moment and doesn't need to eat at the moment, and for whatever reason the parent wants to feed the child now, such as he wants the child to taste a certain food and swallow it, so we know if it's, salt, if it's salted enough, then this would be forbidden to be done, because the sage is only permitted feeding the child before Kiddush, when he's above the age of Chinuch, in a case that it's being done for his benefit. The reason why there's no prohibition is because there's no actual isra on the food. It's not like a non-kosher food, which a parent is forbidden to feed a child at all. But rather similar to food on Yom Kippur, just like it's permitted to feed a child that's above the age of Chinuch on Yom Kippur, even though it's forbidden to eat, so too before Kiddush you're allowed to feed a child even above the age of Chinuch, so long as it is for his benefit. However, for our benefit, it is forbidden. Unless it's for the sake of a mitzvah, such as hearing Kiddush and Shul, and we need to give a, the child something, some of it to drink, or the wine in order so not be a brach levatalo, then it's permitted, even though it's for our benefit, since for the sake of a mitzvah. So all in all, it comes out from here that seemingly according to halacha, we shouldn't educate children until they ter- turn baram bas mitzvah against eating before Kiddush, and it's actually forbidden to do so. And so is written in all the Paiskim and all the Svarim. So what then do people rely upon that they educate their children not to eat or drink before Kiddush once they reach a certain age, such as nine years old and onwards? So similarly, the explanation is as follows. The Isser is only to stop the child from eating or drinking if he wants or needs to do so. Because the sage has prohibited one from oppressing the child regarding food and drink. However, it's obviously permitted to teach the child the halacha and try to persuade him and educate him to follow in this path, which he will anyways have to follow once he turns bar and bar smith, bas mitzvah. The isser is only against punishing the child or, or purposely forcing the child to not eat or drink if he needs to do so. That's clearly against Shulchan Aruch. But to educate him and persuade him for him himself not to eat and drink and his own will... There's certainly no prohibition against doing so, and that is the Minig Yisrael, that as the child becomes older, we try to communicate to them the importance of not eating and drinking before Kiddush, in which they will comply by on their own without any force of the parents.